This is the UP. Coming up to the drawbridge. Yeah, that's a little weird. I'll say it one more time. That bike is a pleasure to travel on. The sign says it is the end of Highway 41. It's not exactly the end. It's kind of the beginning. And if I turn around and go the other way, 1,900 miles away is Miami. Where I am now is riding out on the very extreme point of the Little Finger Peninsula. I'll be pretty much at the very, very top of it when I get to High Point Rock. Oh my god, we're following a school bus. Well, that ain't gonna last long. He's gonna pull over for us, I guess. What are they doing? They're parking on the wrong side of the road. Oh, they're looking for a campsite. Look at that, this road's even on my GPS. You're a pretty amazing guy, Ben. And I do like these new handlebars that Ben put on here. Definitely seems like they have more control over the bike. Maybe it's gonna rival that T7. Can't tell you the name of them. Probably Tusk. Ooh, oh my God. That looks like fun, fun, fun. It's gonna get a little bit more hairy. Wonder how deep that is. How many rocks are at the bottom? I can see rocks now. Well, 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 at least I can see them. Oh yeah. Swanky says stand up, Pa. Swanky always says stand up, Pa. Hey, I see water on my uh, GPS. Whoa. You got some snot. Oh, the water is a lake next to us. It's a fairly big lake. And there is not a cottage on it. I wanted to crawl down there and use my fishing pole, but a fishing pole is kind of a bite in the butt to bring on a motorcycle trip, unless you're really committed. The chances of ending up with a busted fishing pole are pretty good. I wouldn't mind going through those puddles at all but you never know what's there for rocks underneath which could make for a really bad day sure her ben's got some time to clean this bike when i get it back i know the stuff i'm going through is not that difficult but god i think these handlebars have really took this bike up a notch whoa we're down <laughs> Through the middle. These tires are not the greatest on the road. I mean, they're not terrible. I just rode 250 miles, but they are awesome in this dirt. God, do you feel like you have a footing on the sides of those puddles? No slip at all. I still don't think I'd go with something quite as aggressive if I buy one of these, which maybe I will. <laughs> but uh, they are nice in the dirt. There's the rocks I'm talking about. I see, oh, <laughs> I see Lake Superior. 
No, it's just a large puddle. No, I don't see a lot of large rocks in there. Oh my God. That's all right. Oh, I see a shorter on the way out. Now I see something up ahead. Here we are. Kinda got it in my brain that someday I'd like to row out to that island. It's about three miles away. And any given day, it can change quite a bit out here. You might get there in smooth conditions and come back in terrible. Pretty cool. Sun's starting to go down. I think it's time to get out of here. Beautiful road. Beautiful, beautiful. Lots of treasures at the UP like this. Should be part of Wisconsin though. Now I know I got that one big stream to cross on the way out of here. Went well, but not looking forward to it anyway. <laughs> By myself. Uh, we'll make it. KLR always does. I really am liking this bike the more I drive it. Maybe I'll have to challenge Ben to the, uh, the single track again. Keep thinking somebody's going to be coming around one of these corners. Wouldn't be the first time. And there they are. Going kayaking. Alrighty. Mighty. Matey. Oops, there we go. Easy does it. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Factor. Now we're heading into the sun. Here comes the sun. Here comes the sun. Honestly, wasn't looking forward to camping much. I just really wanted to stay in another hotel. And then I drove through this campgrounds, which is like. Uh, very rustic and very spread out very cool my tent wants to blow away lake superior is just through that wood so uh it'll be windy and cold i'll freeze tonight chances of getting uh visited by a bear are probably uh pretty high you know they just come through sniff around they don't smell anything deep they go to the next campus site so luckily i'm all by myself so yeah okay <laughs> I uh, camped pretty light. I've got a small tent and believe me uh, my last tent was twice the size and it was a lot to haul around. I got a sleeping bag of course, a good one. A uh, sleeping pad doesn't do much but it's better than nothing. got my flashlight and I've got a cup. I probably have some water around here and uh, nothing to eat. I don't mess with a grill or anything. I got a little tiny lantern. There's my lantern. Isn't it nifty? Better than nothing. And I use a flashlight. I don't really use a lot of light. I'll have the campfire going tonight, so it'll be good. Like I say, I really didn't want to camp, but once I drove through this campgrounds, it was like, you know what? This looks like fun. Brushed the old man and me aside and uh, set up here and uh, 
we're gonna have a good time. Blake, I gotta say, I'm just really getting to like it. Um, dang it, I don't know. <laughs> it's a possibility. Uh, this, of course, is Benjamin's, which he very graciously let me use. I was really surprised he did that, but uh, yeah, I've been having a great time. Probably gonna put on about 700 miles by the time I get home tomorrow, and uh, damn, it was fun. So, uh, more adventures to come this weekend. We are going to head to the top of Brockaway Mountain 